This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. You know, your companion, it, it can be at your house, it can sort of uh, babysit your kids, it could teach them, uh, be a teacher. When people hear humanoid robot, a lot of us, including yours truly, imagine a bright futuristic world where robots handle all the tough, dangerous, or just plain boring tasks we don't want to deal with. We mean, who hasn't daydreamed about having a robot that cooks, does the dishes, and takes care of chores? Sounds like a dream, right? But at the same time, plenty of people are freaking out, worrying that these machines will steal human jobs, or worse, take over the world and turn us into their servants. Just like in every sci-fi movie we've ever watched. And then, there's the rest of us who think humanoid robots are just clunky, slow, and borderline ridiculous. Basically, a pile of overpriced scrap metal struggling to walk straight. People joke about them walking like Biden or a drunk guy trying to find his way home. Honestly, that's not entirely wrong. Most humanoid robots today still struggle to prove they're actually useful in real life. In fact, some of them look so awkward that it's hard not to be a little skeptical. But have you noticed something? Over the past two years, things have changed, big time. More than just small improvements, we're talking next level advancements. Two years ago, it was pretty much just Tesla bot and Boston Dynamics Atlas battling it out. But now, we're convinced this isn't just a two horse race anymore. It's turned into an all out tech war with dozens of heavy hitters from North America to China jumping in. To be fair, we're not here to say that Tesla has the best or most advanced robot out there. But what we do believe is that Tesla Optimus has the most potential when it comes to actually making a difference in people's lives. At the same time, it's also one of the most accessible humanoid robots out there, priced competitively enough to make owning one a real possibility for more people than ever before. You also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for I think probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. Most humanoid robots today still struggle to fit into the real world, mainly because they're not mass produced. We often see sensational news about a new robot from some company impressing us with amazing tasks and moves. But then, after a while, these robots just fade away as if they never existed. This is the common reality of humanoid robotics, and it's why many people believe they're just fancy prototypes in labs that will never make it into real life. However, Tesla changed the game completely. Not only are they mass-producing humanoid robots, but they also brought 50 Optimus bots to a major event where attendees could actually see and interact with them in person. The funny part, the event was originally meant to launch CyberCab Tesla's new, fully autonomous robotaxi. But guess what? The spotlight was stolen by the robots. People gathered around Optimus, not the car, showing that Tesla bot is not just another hype. It's breaking the stereotype that humanoid robots are useless or boring. And Optimus? It's already proving it can handle a bunch of tasks you'd actually want help with. Yeah, it can receive and inspect packages, serve drinks, fold clothes, charge your EV, clean the kitchen, water your plants, carry heavy stuff, play games with your family, dance, and even answer all your questions. And here's the kicker. Tesla did all this in less than two years. Their progress is so impressive that even Boston Dynamics, one of their biggest competitors, had to give them props. The Tesla team is, are making a great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology which we've been arguing for 30 years, so I think that only helps us. Yeah. What do you think about a robot capable of handling multiple tasks continuously for 8 to 10 hours, and you don't even have to worry about charging it because it can recharge itself? Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what the Tesla bot offers. With Tesla's cutting-edge 4680 battery battery pack combined with an optimally sized battery for a humanoid robot, this is something you won't find in any other humanoid robot in the world. This unique feature has garnered significant attention for Optimus and has people eagerly awaiting its release. Imagine putting it to work in a restaurant 
with 8 to 10 hours of continuous operation, the potential profits could reach tens of thousands of dollars per year compared to your initial investment. You can imagine like your own personal robot buddy uh, that is uh, a great friend, but also takes care of uh, your house, will we'll clean your house, will mow the lawn, uh, will walk the dog, uh, will teach your kids, uh, will we'll babysit, um, and, and, and will also, also enable the production of goods and services. In 2022, Tesla first introduced Optimus with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, but at the time, the prototype mainly used standard 2170 battery cells, as the 4680 battery technology was not yet available. As a result, Optimus had a rather bulky and rudimentary design. However, Tesla has since confirmed that Optimus has been integrated with the company's most advanced 4680 battery technology, although detailed specifications have not been disclosed. The 4680 battery offers many significant advantages, with a higher energy density that's five times greater than the 2000 brain's Pusen 170 cells. It provides more energy per unit volume while reducing production costs by approximately 14%, thanks to improvements in design and manufacturing processes. These benefits have made a major leap in optimizing energy and efficiency. When integrating the 4680 battery into the Tesla bot, Optimus's design became more compact, eliminating the need for a large and bulky battery pack. This not only improved performance, but also significantly reduced the robot's weight. For example, the second generation Optimus shed 22 pounds, dropping from 160 pounds in the first generation to 138 pounds. Thanks to the superior energy density of the 4680 battery, it not only reduces the size of the battery pack, but also provides enough power for Optimus to operate continuously for 8 to 10 hours. Compared to the first generation version with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, the second generation Optimus uses a slightly larger 4680 battery pack, reaching up to 3 kilowatt hours. What's truly surprising is the recent update about how Optimus charges. Until now, we've all assumed that charging Optimus is like charging an electric vehicle. You have to plug it in manually. But it turns out, it's far smarter than we thought. It's hard to believe that Tesla Optimus can charge itself without the need for user intervention, similar to the CyberCab. The CyberCab automatically returns to a parking area equipped with a wireless charging pad where it charges autonomously. With Optimus, as shown in the video, it can autonomously locate, navigate, and connect to a wall-mounted charger with an extended connector. This is a charging port that Optimus aligns and connects to by itself. Once the battery is fully charged, it automatically disconnects and resumes its tasks. If Optimus is charged using wireless charging with a battery pack just under 3 kilowatt hours, it will charge much faster compared to electric vehicles, which typically take 30 to 40 minutes to fully charge. We believe 10 minutes would be enough to fully recharge Optimus. This is exactly why no competitor can match Tesla, a fully autonomous robot for every task. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. Please be nice to the Optimus robots. So you'll be able to walk right up to them, and um, they'll serve drinks at the bar. Tesla is aiming to make Optimus more accessible to more people at a price of just $20,000. This is a bold but calculated business strategy, thanks to the large scale of production and the in-house manufacturing of Optimus components, including the 4680 battery. Elon Musk has said that Tesla only incurs production costs of around $10,000 per Optimus unit, largely due to the use of components common to Tesla electric vehicles. As a result, the $20,000 price tag is not only feasible, but also reasonable, especially since Tesla is less dependent on outside suppliers. The 4680 battery is a big part of achieving this goal, keeping production costs low while maintaining high performance. In fact, for $20,000, you will be hard-pressed to find a humanoid robot as advanced as the Tesla bot. This makes Optimus more accessible to a wider range of customers, opening up robot ownership to millions of people around the globe. It can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. Oh my God, we've seriously imagined all sorts of scenarios, 
if Optimus could actually understand human emotions. Just picture this. You point at the fridge, and it immediately brings you a beer. Or if you rub your stomach, it knows you're hungry. Even crazier, if you act tired, it'll automatically come over and give you a massage. How amazing would that be, right? Elon Musk emphasized that Optimus is smart enough to perform tasks just by watching a video without needing direct programming. So what if you show it a cooking video or a piano performance? Maybe even a magic trick? Yeah, it could learn from that. Of course, it might be a bit clumsy at first because it needs to repeat those actions a few times to gather enough data. But this is a perfect example of AI learning, specifically using a deep learning approach. So that, you know, because um, it's uh, probably have a few bugs, but, uh, but it's, it's going to be very cool. Um, you definitely, you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. Of course, it's going to be tough for a new product like Optimus to be perfect right from the start, especially with a product that requires real-world user experiences. That's why Elon Musk has openly admitted that Optimus will have a few bugs. So what kind of issues could arise? One potential problem is misunderstanding commands. The robot might not always recognize natural human speech correctly. Imagine you ask it to grab food and it brings you an empty plate instead. Yeah, something like that. Since Optimus relies on an internet connection, disruptions or connectivity issues are another potential problem. If the connection fails, the robot might not be able to access its system's data, which could cause it to malfunction. Additionally, stairs could be tricky for Optimus. While it can go up and down stairs, this remains a huge challenge. It requires precise calculation and perfect balance with each step. Otherwise, the robot could trip or fall. So, it's definitely a work in progress. All these bugs are expected to improve over time, thanks to software updates and ongoing technical enhancements. Elon Musk has emphasized that Optimus will even have the ability to self-correct while it's operating. A perfect example of this is when the Tesla bot dropped a battery cell from its tray. It immediately reorganized everything without human intervention. So this year, we, we hopefully will be able to make about um, 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically, uh, we're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. Um, but since it's a totally new product with totally new, you know, it, like everything is totally new, um, I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10, you know, half of the 10,000 now. But, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion, FYI. Which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots. So I'd be like, whoa. Okay, um, but I think we'll I think we'll literally build a legion, at least one legion of robots, uh, this year, um, and then pro probably ten legions next year. And I don't know it's kind of a cool unit, you know. We are very excited and confident that this will happen sooner than expected, based on Tesla's current pace. Musk mentioned that they are in the process of redesigning Optimus. He admitted on X last year that reworking Optimus's design was one of the most challenging parts of the process, but it was necessary to achieve a design suitable for mass production. From what we know, this new design will belong to the Gen 3, a special version. As mentioned earlier, around 5,000 to 10,000 Optimus units are expected to be produced this year. The fact is, Tesla cannot accelerate the production of Optimus as quickly as electric vehicles in the initial phase because they lack experience with a dedicated production line, a topic we often discuss in episodes about Tesla Bot. Although many parts from electric vehicles are repurposed for Optimus, this doesn't mean that the method of building Optimus will resemble how an electric vehicle is made. They cannot share the same production line or product shape. On a small scale, Optimus is much more challenging to produce than an electric vehicle. Every part must be crafted to resemble the human body's essence as closely as possible. If you try to include too many components, actuators, or a large battery pack, the robot's weight will become too heavy to move. However, if the components inside Optimus are too limited, its performance will be extremely poor. This highlights the many challenges involved in creating a humanoid robot, particularly in the early stages. Not to mention, you also need to input data into the robot's brain so it can perform useful tasks based on that data. To put it simply, Optimus's brain will be entirely empty at the start. Therefore, Tesla engineers will need to fill it with as much data as possible. Inputting data into a humanoid robot isn't as simple as uploading programming codes into software 
and expecting Optimus to execute tasks based on those codes. This is incorrect. Optimus must be trained by performing tasks under remote control by engineers. During these teleoperated tasks, TeslaBot will collect even the smallest pieces of data from the tasks it performs. These tasks need to be trained repeatedly, not just once, but many times, until it has gathered sufficient data for that task. For example, it might take a week or more for it to learn how to wash dishes effectively. Initially, it might drop dishes, fail to clean them properly, or make other mistakes. With each failure, it will automatically correct and avoid that error in future attempts, ultimately becoming proficient. This is why throughout last year, teleoperated training for Optimus became common. It simply needed to be fed data through these training sessions. Tesla Bot Optimus is not just a leap in robotics technology. It symbolizes humanity's aspiration to transcend physical and temporal limitations in order to enhance the quality of life. In a world where humanoid robots were once ridiculed as impractical, useless, or confined to laboratories, Tesla has completely changed the game. Optimus is no longer a distant concept. It is steadily becoming a powerful assistant in real life, taking on boring, strenuous, or dangerous tasks for humans. The greatest significance of Optimus lies not in its cutting-edge technology or its ability to operate for 10 hours after just 10 minutes of charging, but in its accessibility. Priced at $20,000, this robot can learn from videos, serve drinks, clean homes, babysit, and even assist in manufacturing. This opens the door for millions of people to own a personal robot, something that once belonged only in science fiction. Optimus also represents a cultural and societal turning point. It doesn't just replace manual labor, it challenges our definitions of work, efficiency, and the future of human-machine relationships. In the near future, each person might have a robot companion that is intelligent, dedicated, and tireless, allowing humans to focus more on creativity, emotion, and meaningful connections. In that sense, Tesla is not merely building a robot, they are helping rewrite the way we live.